Welcome. My name is Mark Weinzimmer, and this is an SBA Studio walkthrough, part four. This video, we will discuss alias sets and cube schemas. So first, we need to talk about creating alias sets. We can do this by starting one of the guides from the main menu. And the first task is to create a binding. We select a binding source. Here we're choosing child on the left. And to pick an expression, we're going to pick measures alias. And this is also commonly known as our accounts. Once we click OK, we could combine several bindings into an alias set. For example, here our default alias set has our SKU, population, family, diet SKUs, and child aliases all together. Once we've created our alias set, we can build the cube schema. Doing this, is as easy as running the cube schema wizard. Once you start the wizard, you pick a name for your schema and then move over your measures. Ours is accounts from our sales table. Then you pick your hierarchies. We've chosen measures, periods, scenarios, products, and markets. Preview if you want, and then click next. Here we create our S-Base model, name it however we want, and then also pick our accounts dimension. We've selected measures. Click Finish. And once the model is successful and deployed, we're left with two things. First, the cube schema is shown in a workspace. And second, our model is created and hiding in the metadata navigator as a child of the cube schema that we created.